Yeah. All right, so John, we're kind of at the unofficial quarter point of the regular season. Kind of what will you assess the team and its development through the first 25 games or so? Uh, I mean, early assessment is we're really young and we have a, uh, a lot of new position people at new positions in a very elite league, and it's and it's hard to win and it's hard to you know make stuff happen the way you want it to as quickly as you want it to. Um, but it's still all a process. His body's just getting better. How about you? You start off the, the year injured and had to work your way into form. How are you feeling right now? And how tough was that to begin the season kind of on the sidelines? It was super tough, especially when I was traveling with certain teams and uh, thinking that I was able to make an impact on the game if I could have been able to play that night. It's tough to watch, but it also gives me a better perspective coming off the bench and just being able to watch. And now getting my rhythm back and feeling my stride feels good. What was the toughest part just physically or mentally with that? Or, or, was it just not being used to playing a lot and you said coming off the bench was that a little bit different as well I feel like um, for me it was just a physical I've never really been truly you know injured or hurt before so it's uh, about you know going through the rehab process coming back and being able to work myself back into um, the elite shape that I was in uh, I've always been able to get back to there pretty quickly so for it to be a little bit of a more extra step I would say is I was good. How's it working with this? You mentioned the young guys. You're a young guy, but they're guys even younger than you. Right. And you have three rookies that are getting some significant playing time. How's that been for you, helping them acclimate to the NBA? Yeah, and when I said young guys, I was, you know, obviously including myself, only being 21. Uh, and, I, and, I mean, it's really fun playing with a bunch of guys who are my age. You know, the chemistry, I feel like, all on and off the court. Um, you can only go up. And I feel like it just takes time for us to build. I mean, we honestly just got together and just started playing, especially with myself being hurt, being able to come back and try to play and get some chemistry with these guys. It, take, it takes a little bit of time, but it's been fun so far. And how, what do you tell the guys? Because you, you see the national media comparing some of your rookies to other guys and uh, things like that. How do you tell, help them kind of avoid those distractions to stay focused on the team? I mean, you always, you know, when the NBA, the nature of the NBA is always to compare young players to older players. Um, so you always just try to tell them to try to be themselves, try to play their game and don't get caught up in um, all the media hype and whatever they're saying. You try to focus on yourself, um, get better and stick to your strengths and not to whoever they're comparing you to strengths. Try to find yourself. And then lastly for me, Coach Pierce, how's he been? And uh, how, how, how's he performed and how's he helped you guys just throughout this first quarter of the year? I feel like he's helped us out a lot just defensively. Uh, you know, his emphasis is defense, so uh, I'll just say for myself, uh, it's been really cool to work with a coach who's teaching me a lot of stuff about positioning uh, and IQ on the defensive end, stuff that I can really just apply on the court to slow the game down. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it.